Hello YouTube, how everyone doing today? Now, you see that at the top, it says Big Mama Show. Check her channel out. She have a lot of stuff that she be talking about. And she be right on, right on it about it. Y'all need to open your damn eyes and, and pay attention because these there's a lot of people out here showing y'all the truth and showing y'all some shit. And y'all ain't listening. From Makita's cookies to someone, and it reads, I can't get it in camera. We've removed cameras. We did you a favor. Now do us a favor. The inside footage is nowhere, is nowhere to be traced. We came prepared. Then somebody goes, the, whoever this text goes to says, okay, so you saying what? And it says, keep me and my family business out the mix. Use your platform and tell them, tell them, just make a. So y'all can see. Go to her page, follow her, like her pit her uh her YouTube because she be talking about she be around the money about a lot of things. I'm like everybody knew that um this cookout place that they had to be how anybody actually know that he was there. She already said in the interview when she changed it up said that he always called before he comes. So they already knew he was going to that shop. They already knew that. So with that being said, that's 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 what I'm saying. Y'all ain't using your head. Somebody probably paid him a lot of money and also think that it meant young Dolph probably was giving them money trying to help them stay afloat. And it probably was somebody selling drugs out of there. Or he was they was dealing with some people that young Dolph didn't like. And he probably didn't want to pay them no more. I don't know the case. That's just my feelings on it. But I'm saying she have some of the screenshots of it around the time this person that was involved let them know the young golf was there. So with that being said, who paid the person to let them know when young golf was there? I do not know. Y'all, a lot of y'all follow the, follow that more than I do. But it's like a lot. I mean. You're, YouTubers, they be following a lot of stuff and they be posting stuff. And if you don't pay attention what the real ones are doing and trying to help and trying to show y'all the these young people that, that don't know anything, that sitting there and doing off the wall stuff, trying trying to show y'all some stuff, you know? Y'all better start opening your eyes. But open your eyes and start. Y'all need to do it now. Y'all really do need to do it now. A lot of shit is going going around right under your nose. And y'all just looking at it as ain't nothing. trying to find something else I was looking for it's like I can't find it the other thing I want to talk about this Tasha K okay is you know I'm gonna say Tasha K. I don't like her. I don't like her YouTube. The way she talks about people. The the way she talks about people. The way she gets on talking about Carter B. 
and stuff like that. My thing is, is this. Okay, for the adults, they have kids. If you don't want your kids to watch it, don't watch Cardi B shit. Don't, if you can watch it all you want. If you got a young child, make it where they cannot watch it. I listen to music. I listen to all types of music. I have actually listened to call it some of Call of B music. You know what I'm saying? I listen to music with cussing it and stuff. But the difference for me, I don't have my kids listening to it. I have a 15 year old, I have a 6 year old, and I have a 4 year old. And I don't have them listening to that. My my daughter was watching. I was listening to uh, Nathan. Now he talks about he writes about the stuff he been through with his mother going through drugs and stuff like that, and cared more about the drugs than him. If his son or whatever, but it was like a scene where he was playing off like in a car or whatever. And it was like the car is burning up or whatever. And my daughter was like, oh, my God, he's dead. And she was like, he's dead. I said, no, he's not dead. It's a video. It's not real. People show stuff like that. They they make a video. It's like he's faking. He's not dead. And she was like, oh. Now, this was the four-year-old. And I told her that a lot of the stuff that YouTubers do and rappers, that is fake. Do not follow them. Do not do that. That type of stuff. Nathan, he don't have any cussing in his videos. He don't have women shaking their ass in his videos. So I don't have a problem. My daughter is listening to that. Or Yellow Pain. Or B Mike, he kind of got a little bit cussing in it. But it's not like the rapper is every syllable, bitch, thought, and all that stuff. I watch some other, other rappers and stuff like that. But I have it where my kids are in a room away from me when I'm watching it that's the difference from me and some other mothers and fathers see if you don't have your kid listening to it keep it away from them keep their innocence but also talk to them about things that's going on but put it in a way nice and in a rap thing you can't cannot be totally raw talking about stuff and ratchet talking about stuff that goes on in the world. You got to put it, the kitty shoes on for them. Be, and say it in a way where they can understand it. And the way that she talks about Cardi B is a damn shame. It don't make any sense. I mean, I never met anyone that fucking jealous of a person. But anyways, I'll let you hear for yourself. Tasha just make up stories. And then this bird brain, okay? Dark circles under her eyes, sunken mm. eyes, ass bitch, okay? Wants to say, oh, look, see the story she made up? How the fuck I make it up and you had these old kids calling my motherfucking phone and shit? How do, how do you do that? See, you're a kid. Everything that this bitch has, you would think she would be like, okay. You know what I'm saying? She's so worried. She's more worried about me than Offset fucking everybody else. Now, let me tell you something. My credibility can't be challenged at all, okay? R. Kelly, Wendy Williams, fucking Steve Harvey. Bitch, the list goes motherfucking on, okay? I'm a gossip site. I'm too loud? So sorry. <laughs> I'm too loud, my man. Hold on, hold on. Because my daughter is, you know, all online classes and shit. Hold on. Her ass drunk as hell, sipping on champagne or whatever that shit is. Drunk as hell, talking shit on live. And nobody really gives a fuck about William Williams either because I don't like her ass. But I'm, I'm like, why? You see, the thing about it, for you to get sued and the person to win, I don't know if they went, Cardi B won or she won or whatever, but here says when you're saying something not true about a person, and that's when you can get you fined or arrested for it. That's why all my videos used to have on Tommy, I used to make sure I put something in there for that, but he deleted it or he made them take my videos down that I had on his ass. Really pissed me off. Because that's right there my proof that he said it out his own mouth. 
But I'm like, yes, she's a rapper. Yes, she played on hip hop. Was no, it was like Real House of Hollywood or something like that. Yeah, Cardi B was on there too. So I'm like, how? Why? Because, huh, let me say, for a person to talk about a person the way she talk about her, she must be some kind of jealous. Because the stuff she says, I mean, I can say, shit, little Nas, he's disrespectful. He's showing things that should not be on TV. He, Because back in the day, they had it with MTV, nighttime for the X-rated people to watch the real video other than the kid video they had out. Then, on top of that, it's like, other things too. The shower scene, they had that on YouTube in that other video where he was supposed to be went to hell or something. I'm talking about Lil Nas X. And for that to be on there, and I'm like, damn. What happened to the shit like that coming on at late night? They don't do that no more? I don't understand. She act like she jealous. I don't fucking like her. I don't, because it's a lot of people he, she talks about. And I heard, I haven't found the video, but so it's hearsay. It was another female that was messing with um, uh, R. Kelly and how he was paying for her, her shit or whatever. I don't care. But my thing is, she was talking, they said, hearsay, they said that Tasha K was talking crap about it. And she also was talking crap about the other girl's mother and the daughter about when she had the one that accused Charlemagne of rape. They said it was a lesser charge. Reckless, damn it, reckless, dangerment. Danger of a minor. So. So they basically just threw the rape part out. Because he was drinking on her watch. On his watch. He he was drink, She was drinking alcohol on his watch. So. I mean. That's just crazy on so many levels. But she's an ass. Charlamagne's an ass. Um, there's a lot more. Tommy Sutomer is an asshole. Anyways. But. I mean. I mean, she's going all... She's, like, going over the fucking top. Oh, yeah. Because I was running up steps and shit. So, yeah. I knew the shit was fake. I even talked to motherfucking... I didn't tell you who I talked to, though, besides Kyle, okay? I was just like, I know this shit fake, but since this bitch want to send out fake motherfucking news, guess what? I'm going to tell the world what everybody already motherfucking know anyway, okay? Offset's been cheating. That's the reason why she leaving any motherfucking way, okay? And whether he has a baby real or not on the way, it's still not going to do anything to my platform. It ain't going to do nothing but make it grow more. I don't understand, like, how you... Y'all hear that? She's saying it's not going to do anything but make her platform grow more so she can talk shit and be disrespectful to people all she wants, but y'all going to just keep following her. Do you think that's right? I don't think it's right. I don't think people should be following her if she's out here talking pretty crap about people. I mean, if he is or he isn't, that's their personal business. You should not be out there talking about it. I'm just putting my opinion on it because people like her give women that respect their body and stuff like that and don't like to talk bad about people like Tosh K do that look just like fucking uh was it little Boosie um that other rapper she looked just like him she had a damn full blown fucking mustache I'm like what the fuck what what is this Halloween or something what is she craziness she got fucking issues Anyways, you got 75 million followers, and you worried about little old me, little old dark skin me, little old, you know, uh, well, I ain't got no little titties, okay? Little old. Gosh, look at her eyes. I'm tired of looking at this damn fucking chick right here. She get on my nerves. Breaks off that white bitch pussy. Absolutely. I'm not selling shit. Talk to. Go in the room. No, in the room. You ain't got nothing to get in my room. Nothing. You being nosy, get out. I love you, you being nosy. Get in the room. 
Kyla B is not white. I don't know why everybody thinks she's white. She is fucking Puerto Rican. She's a Puerto Rican mix with black and probably some Irish or some shit. Anyone can fucking see that. So for her, she just thinks she's white. Wow, she just thinks she's white. Oh. So yeah, that's what the bitch is really mad about. That's what she mad about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I may drop the emails too. That's what I'll do. So they'll put a gag on me saying I can't talk about the case. That's fine. Okay? But I'll still be able to report on that bitch. That's what she mad about. Okay? Mad that I won't take the motherfucking videos down. Mad she been trying to prove all oh, this bitch is lying. This bitch is lying. So you get one motherfucking story. Okay? You got your little pick. So basically she tried to make amends with her in, the, in this ratchet chick didn't even want to. And I knew that bitch was going to go. I was just waiting on her. I thought she would go live sooner. I thought she would. Now, this song right here is probably one of my favorite ones because I played it several times when my crazy, demented, psycho cousin was staying with me and she scratched my fucking son. So I gave her opportunity to speak for herself. And she never told me what she why she hit my son. So I played this to keep calm because I was on the verge to do some fucked up shit to her. Cousin are fucking not. My kids matter more than her. Especially at the fact that me and her was beefing half three through high school and I never did anything fucked up to her. But she hated me, God knows why, and then when she stayed with me, she was just saying a lot of fucked up shit. I overheard a couple of her phone calls saying, this bitch gonna make me kill her. I tried to calm down, but I just couldn't calm down enough. I, t I knocked, uh, knocked on the door and I told her. I said, by morning, tomorrow, you better be out of my fucking house. If you're not out my house, you won't have